you coming to Norway winter time? Yeah, that's great. Actually, fantastic idea. But make sure you watch this video before you start packing that suitcase of yours. Chasing the northern lights, riding that snowmobile among the fjords, dog sledding, ice fishing, drifting on a frozen lake. All of those are sort of activities you can definitely try in Norway if you come here winter time. Another question I got a million times from my friends and relatives and even from you guys. How cold it is winter time in Norway and what's the proper outfit, winter clothes? For the occasion here. In this video I'm gonna reveal my very simple but proper winter arctic outfit. Having that one you will be able to enjoy your outdoor activities even if it's minus 30 degrees Celsius outside. Let's jump in right away. Hi hi guys, I'm Anna, your favorite crazy Russian British vlogger who is currently living in Norway. I have no idea when I'm gonna publish this particular video, but I promise you it will be relevant anytime when you're planning to come to Norway winter time. I've been living in Norway for two years and during those years I've been to the Arctic Circle three times winter time. I even slept in an ice hotel in a bed made of real ice. What sort of magic gear I had with me to protect me from those crazy temperatures? How did I survive that? There is no real magic here and there are no like super low temperatures. The maximum I had was minus 20 9 celsius outside which was quite okay sort of first let's start with your proper shoes for proper winter in norway i personally find that it's the most important thing of all to keep your feet warm timberland shoes keep those for london or for any other european city with winter temperature plus 10 15 degrees outside there probably they will work perfectly but not here not in norway tried myself First, they are extremely slippery and second, they're bloody cold. They're not made for Norwegian winter, so you will not feel comfortable and warm wearing those shoes outside here. But you might keep for summer months if you like. Somewhere in Lofoten in June you will feel absolutely fine wearing those. However, I don't recommend you wearing Timberland shoes if you're planning to go hiking here in Norway. They will not protect your ankle quite well and it's gonna be really easy to twist your leg. What's the best way? Proper hiking shoes. I got those ones a few years ago in London for 36 pounds on Oxford Street in Sport Direct. I'm wearing them all year round here. They're really cool for going hiking summer months and also really comfortable and warm for winter time. They're not slippery at all, they're warm and comfortable and they also keep your ankles in place. You can use them the way they're supposed to be used when you go hiking in Norway, but also you can use them for city walks here quite easily. Even when you go to the restaurant or to a cocktail bar in Oslo, people here don't really care what exactly you're wearing as long as you feel comfortable. I ended up quite a few times myself in Oslo in Radisson Plaza, that central hotel, and I was wearing my hiking shoes and hiking trousers. Believe me, no one cared. I was absolutely fine. So don't even think twice. A decent pair of hiking shoes will cover all your trip to Norway and will also save you a lot of space in your luggage. If you prefer wearing something fancy, you can always try the moon boots. They're not slippery at all and extremely warm and comfortable, but as you can see, they're quite bulky and it's a little bit more difficult to travel with them. My advice, if you want, you can keep moon boots as your second option, but you better concentrate on a proper pair of hiking shoes. They don't need to be fancy. They need to be comfortable, not slippery and ideally waterproof. If you have a decent pair of those hiking shoes, you will not be needing several layers of socks. Your snowboarding socks or a good pair of wool socks will do the job perfectly for you. If you're planning to go to Tromsø up north winter time and spend a night on the beach chasing those fascinating northern lights, take these guys with you. They are hands and foot warmers and they will help a lot. How does this work? Open up the pack, 
take one sachet and shake it as hard as you can. And after that, you can put it on your gloves or inside your shoes, depending on where you feel colder. When I'm going to the Arctic Circle, usually I'm putting it in both, in my shoes and in my gloves. You can easily buy them locally. Just visit any Klaas Olsen shop in any shopping mall around Norway and get a pack of six for about 10 bucks. You will thank me later for this little trick. Okay, if you already started, let's carry on with the gloves. When I just started conquering the Arctic Circle, I was using my snowboarding gloves. If you already have them, they might be a pretty good option. But I personally faced a tiny little problem with those gloves. They are quite bulky, and when it comes to using your mobile phone, you need to remove them every time you're gonna use it. And then put them on, and then to remove again, and then put them on for five minutes, because after five minutes, you need to make another picture, and then another picture, and you're ending up with your hands are freezing cold. What did really save my life here? Class awesome again, and additional 10 bucks. Those are lifesavers. They're super warm and they have this fantastic stuff inside them. They keep your hands super warm on their own, but if you pair them with our old friends, hand warmers, you're gonna be unstoppable. No weather condition can stop you from your outdoor activities in Norway winter time. You can even run together with the dogs on your fall while you're dog sledding joking. But anyway, you got my point. When you go to Norway winter time, you will be absolutely fine if you have these gloves and these pads together. Unstoppable. What's next? Ah, yes, make sure that you have your trousers and your jacket waterproof. If you already have your snowboarding or skiing gear, that's absolutely fine. Just take it with you. Lots of people in Norway actually wear these sort of clothes winter time and it's absolutely normal. The local children wear their skiing trousers winter time when they go to school and it's absolutely fine. Same principle as always in Norway, practicality comes first. Make sure that you are comfortable, warm, and you are able to sit on the snow. And I'm not joking this time. When you go snowshoeing and you will fall into that fresh, deep snow, you will thank me a lot for not wearing those fancy jeans of yours. Neck warmer and a hat extremely important again. Sometimes those guys can be quite handy even summer months. You don't believe me? Go to Lefoten in June and you will check yourself. Hat. Hat. It depends on your own preferences. It can be super warm, which I highly recommend because the wind can be really nasty in Norway winter time. Or you can get a balaclava and use with your snowboarding or skiing beanie. It works like this. And it really works, believe me. I tried it in Kirkenes, the Arctic Circle, at the end of December, which was minus 29 degrees outside. I keep repeating that Nakwuma would be the best option for Norway, so why don't I really like these scarves? Because, in fact, you need to take care of them quite a lot. They're really long. They can slip away from your neck. You need to tie them. And then I tighten them. And then tie them again. All the time. Over and over again. Absolutely not practical, guys. So, get a neck warmer instead. When it's cold and also some crazy wind, which happens quite a lot in Norway, especially winter time, you can put this guy all around your face, keeping just your eyes open. Second, when it comes to going to any public place, you can just roll it down and keep it on your neck. It will keep your neck quite warm and there is no chance you will lose it. What else for winter in Norway? Ah, yeah, I learned this lesson after the first time I visited the Arctic Circle here. For any moving activities like dog sledding or riding that snowmobile, make sure that you will have your snowboarding or skiing goggles with you. And not just for those activities, sometimes when you're coming to the Arctic Circle, it might be blizzard outside. And not to stay indoors, you need to have three major things on your head. You just need to have your balaclava or that neck warmer, a proper hat, and above this little structure, you can just put your snowboarding goggles. And fantastico, you're good to go for a little walk and enjoy your outdoor life, no matter what sort of weather conditions are outside. Oh, another question I started getting quite frequently. 
what the hell I'm wearing. Okay guys, so t-shirt and my new super favorite hat, you notice that I'm wearing it all the time now. I got both at the airport, actually in two different airports. The shirt is from Oslo airport and I paid 20 pounds. The hat is from Tromso airport. 10 pounds. I love its color, I love its style, and I love the Eton Norwegian flag on it. That's it. Last but not least, base layer, or how you call it in America, long johns. I just really love when I feel warm, especially my legs, as I'm a big fan of having fun in the snow. Static from about the end of October until March, I don't usually leave the house without my base layer. Especially if you're planning to go to the Arctic Circle, to the Northern Norway and chase those northern lights, believe me, those guys are gonna be your best friends. And never forget how one of the most popular Norwegian saying goes, there is no such a thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. And this is so true in fact. Guys, thank you so much for watching this one too. What do you think about my winter gear? Are you brave enough to come to Norway winter time? Where would you like to go? What would you like to see most of all? Let me know in the comments down below and let's discuss the coolest places in Norway. And consider subscribing to this channel if you're curious about life and travel in Norway as well as other countries. And as our tradition goes, I will see you next week, guys. Stay safe, be happy and get ready to travel the world. Even if it's winter time, even if it seems cold, who cares if your clothes are right? I love you so much, guys. See you later. Bye. Bye for now, guys. Bye.